Hey guys, a uh, little quick, uh, how you going? Um, thank you so much to everyone who's bought uh, my merch. I hope you guys are enjoying wearing the, the color label. Um, I've also got some hair tube um, t-shirts now. I've also got some face masks for those who uh, need to wear those to keep safe. Um, and um, yeah, if um, you guys want to grab yourself some, you can head up there to the top of this channel. Um, the little store icon is in the um, menu bar. So thanks again for the support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HairTube and look who's back, it's Anna. Hello. Anna's back and she's got some regrowth. A, a lot. <laughs> I think um, it's been a while since we did a hair. So you haven't had done since I did last? No. So you guys can um, check out the last video we did. Uh, it's probably, how long ago? Did uh, you say March? Like? Was, it's was it before December. I went to the UEDS? Or before. Before? Before. So it would have been February? February, yeah. Yeah, so it's back in February and um, we gave her a really beautiful uh, short blonde bob. So we've yes. had a chat about her hair today and she wants to stay blonde. Um, she wants to maintain that sort of worn in balayage look, but you can see that there's starting to become a little bit too much gap between um, her regrowth and her blonde. So we're going to take that back up a little bit, but you don't want to do it so short today. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. She's um, enjoying it wearing it long, yeah. so we're just going to give it a trim and maybe a little bit of shape, but um, do you have a, like a length you want to grow it to? Are we growing it out a bit? Or? Um, a little bit. I just like it this length. I'm not a fan of layers. Okay. As long as it has like a straight cut. Yeah, right. We're doing a straight cut then, and um, today's going to be more about the colour. So about that, um, we're going to be using the Light Master with Bond from Matrix. Um, I'm going to experiment with some toners today. You said you wanted to keep it like a, how did you describe it? A creamy it? blonde. A creamy blonde, yeah. right. So we're going to do like a creamy blonde. Um, we'll have a chat about toners later. We're going to use some Biolage treatments. So we've got a jam-packed episode for you today with lots of good stuff to do. So yeah. we've been messing around, well, not we. I've been trying to get the audio to work because you guys have uh, said that you've had trouble hearing me on the audio, so hopefully it's better today and um, I'm going to get out the back, we're going to get some colour mixed up, wrap up Anna for a colour, come back and we're going to start to see in a sec, bye. Alright, let's get some colour mix. So, um, Light Master with Vonda inside and we're going to use um, 30 volume because we want it to actually be very blonde. Um, we just want to make sure we clean it out nice, actually. Second thoughts, I might actually mix up two. I might actually mix up one with 20 volt and one with 30 volt. That way, where I feel it needs to be um, lightened a little bit more, I can go in a bit harder with a 30 volt. And then where I want to be a little bit more gentle because it's already quite blonde, I can just stick to the 20 volt. All right, we're back. We're going to start. And... I'm going to start in the back, so I'm going to spin Anna around. She can look out onto the beautiful Lonsdale Street. Okay, so I'm going to start in the back. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do um, weaves and a slice, and I'm going to back comb the slice um, all the way up to the top, and then we're going to do some through the side. I'm going to try and keep them quite wide. Because Anna's already got a lot of blonde in her hair, I want to actually concentrate on getting some under here. You can see that there's not that much under here, but it's quite blonde on the top. So the focus is going to be underneath, in around the sides, and then through her regrowth. Striped walls above the stairs, yeah. Floor creaks beneath my feet. You're sleeping, I don't care, yeah. Your dreams will end as soon as you see me. Hands begin to shake, you soon realize your mistakes. Eyes are open wide, you can't believe this horrible sight. Taste just salty tears, I love that I am what you fear. Jaw drops to the ground, you're screaming but not making a sound. Yeah. I'm in your head, this and now. Keep trying to kick me out. You thought that you All right, so we're finished in the back. Um, you can see there, so I've done a combination of quite heavy weaves, a little bit of back combing, and I've left some out. Um, now it's, um, we're going to move on to the sides. I'm going to start in the sides on the hairline, working all the way around the front, and then very last, we're going to do the panel in the top. Jaw drops to the ground, just screaming 
trying to kick me out You thought that you had me down But look who lost his crown Oh, I'm in your head this and now Keep trying to kick me out You thought that you had me down But look who lost his crown Foils are done. Make sure we don't bash the camera there, have a bit of a look around. So you see, um, I've concentrated on putting, um, well, removing color with a liner in areas where they were still dark. And if you look to the side, you'll get a little sort of idea at how that should melt through. Obviously, we're gonna tone this, um, but we don't need to make that any blonder because it's quite blonde. So um, I'm gonna let this um, process at room temperature because I found that when I use heat, it could sometimes make it yellow, although we want a sort of natural, I forgot again, what's it, he described it? Creamy blonde. We don't want that platinum white. We don't want it yellow either. And what I've found with lightning hair is if we don't remove that uh, yellow pigment out, um, you sort of always end up there. You might be able to tone it and hide it, but then when it fades, it ends up back there. So we're gonna process it nice and slow. We're gonna go get a burger and have something to eat. Um, and then when we come back, um, I'll have uh, under at the basin. We're gonna rinse it out. We're gonna do a treatment and we're gonna come back here and we'll tone it. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay, back from the basin, our light, uh, lightning process is completed. Um, now we're going to dry Anna's hair off because we need to do a couple of things. First thing we need to do is stretch her root. Man, they're good out of the way there, but they're tough to get in. Um, we're going to stretch her root um, and then I'm going to tone the end. So um, all I've done is shampooed the hair, removed the lightener out of the hair, um, I just did the brass off uh, color mask. I like that because it's also a pre-toner, um, but it also makes it nice, especially when you do back combing when you lighten, you can get a little bit naughty. So it doubles up as a pre-toner and it also helps get the back combing out. Um, so I'll dry that off. We're gonna stretch a root. I'm gonna do a slightly different color in the hairline um, to the rest. Um, and then once that's processed, I'll take her over to the basin. We'll put the color onto the ends and then we'll bring her back and start styling. Grab some gloves. Never do I ever put color on without gloves. My toner um, is going to vary in the front to the back. In the front, I've done half 8P, half 5M, and the rest is three quarters 8P, a quarter 5M. So what I'm gonna do is leave a section out in the front first. Drive walls above the stairs, yeah. Floor creaks beneath my feet. You're sleeping, I don't care, yeah. Your dreams will end as soon as you see me. Hands begin to shake, you soon realize your mistakes. Eyes are open wide, you can't believe this horrible sight. Taste just salty tears, I love that I am what you fear. Jaw drops to the ground, just screaming but not making a sound. Yeah. I'm in your head this and now, keep trying to kick me out. You thought that you had me down, but look who lost his crown. Oh, I'm in your head this and now, keep trying to kick me out. You thought that you had me down, but look who lost his crown. Oh. Sheets are soaked in sweat, yeah Nothing will set you free Who knew I'd be a threat, yeah Oh, you're so, so terrified of me Hands begin to shake, you soon realize your mistakes Eyes are open wide, you can't... Before I dry it, I need to put in some smooth setup. This is just going to help us 
keep the hair nice and supple when it's dry. I really like it because it's, it's actually not heavy. You know, we've just done a treatment at the basin. We did um, the So Silver mask, and then I followed it up with the By Large Fiber Strong. We did use 30 volt in the ends today, and even though our, our uh, lightener does have like a, a bond protector in it, um, I still like to make sure that we really look after the condition. So Smooth Set is also going to protect it from the heat, but it's not going to weigh down too much. I don't want you to see. She can't see. Now we're going to put the styling on for a don't peek. Don't peek. How good does it look, everyone? Just give it a little blow dry. People don't blow dry hair much anymore, but I want you to see my colour. You can see this. Just head down for me, babes. See, it's nice and... I'll just turn around. Just turn sideways so we can see. Really pretty. Okay, so what I'm going to do for Anna is she's got an event on tonight. So we're just going to do a really quick, um, like what I would call a non formal styling using a flat iron. Um, and then when we uh, get through all that, because you're going to see this in uh, fast forward, um, we will have the finished look. do is some smooth setter everything is better with a bit of smooth setter because this just brings it all back in just in around the hairline we just want to get a little bit of definition and then my friend the style fixer and you are ready for tonight Thank you. We are done here today at the salon. What do you think, guys? I mean, let's be honest. I say it often, but with Anna, I think it's true. I mean, if I made her look bad, I'd be pretty bad. <laughs> um, I think it's good. We wanted a, a creamy look with definition, so I did that by combining almost like that, um, <clears throat> sort of like as, as close to a natural blonde as you can get with something with a bit of pearl. So when you put the two together, it looks creamy. Mm. Otherwise, as I said, without that definition, it just looks like a block colour, like you've done a scalp bleach and, and that's it. So, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And we had a burger too. Burger. No more burgers. <laughs> I'll put another one in there. No, I've got to, I've got to lose some COVID belly. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you don't already, please subscribe to the channel. Go and follow Anna on Instagram. Do you want to shout it out? Anna <laughs> I'll put it somewhere. It'll go like this somewhere there. Um, and if you think that you might know someone who will benefit from this uh, video, please share. It's important we share so others can grow. But until next time, it's bye.